uh, mostly, uh, twice a month. This show that you're at right now is Richmond Famous. Uh, quick show of hands, how many of you have never been to a Richmond Comedy Coalition show before? Oh, that's a huh? All right, uh, how many have never actually seen an improv comedy show before a lot? All right, oh, got seasoned a bunch tonight. All right, uh, well, what we're going to be doing tonight is improv, and what Richmond Famous is, is improv inspired off the true stories of local celebrities, personalities, awesome people, and people we find interesting in general. And uh, we've got a special guest with us tonight, Herschel Stratego will be coming out soon. Yeah. Yeah. We, we do not know what Herschel's going to do tonight. Uh, we haven't heard any, I don't know what songs he's going to play. Uh, he might, I think he might be coming up with songs on the spot. We don't listen to his music. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Uh, hey, hey, Herschel! Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've, we've never seen what... Uh, He's going to be doing, and likewise, we don't know what we're going to be doing. Everything you see tonight is going to be uh, completely made up on the spot. We're not going to be necessarily reenacting what Herschel says, because that would be too easy. We're just going to be taking bits and pieces and using that as inspiration, as fodder for our comedy. So, uh, I, think, I think we're all ready. So everyone give a round of applause for Herschel Stratego! because deep down I believe we should probably evolve past having emotions and just, you know, connect with each other constantly. Um, I, I think it's a great step for evolution, um, but who knows where it's going to take us. So here's the song, and it's kind of true, 
half of it is true. Um, I'm not necessarily an internet sensation yet, but I may be one day. Um, I'll tell you what's true in this song as I go on. Everybody's looking for work these days. Everybody's looking for work these days, besides for me. You may call me a slob just because I live with my mom. That's true. <laughs> but you haven't checked out my blog. I don't have a blog, actually. <laughs> but many of you do. Hey, I don't have time for this. vegans or something because they don't eat pork and I listen to a lot of Rush Limbaugh um, so I thought of this and it's funny how um, people including myself at times I'll admit um, group all Muslims together uh, it's just the culture I'm a victim not a racist um, anyway so this is a song called vegans are all the same Oh. 
all just hypocrites living one big lie. Vegans are wrong. I think I'm going to call it a snap. 
I'm so jealous of you. Even though you smacked me in the face, I'm jealous of you. Well, you know, you're lucky I don't smack you in the face two times. I have help counting now. Do you have a gun? Can you hold a gun with your one hand? That's three. I can count two. That's two right there. I can count. I don't need fingers or thumbs or snaps. Uh oh! <laughs> Third! <laughs> well, you may be happy with what God gave you, but I see there's always room for improvement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this? I'm drinking my own meal. <laughs> Are you sure we've done everything, everything, every single thing that we could leading up to this moment to avoid this? We have to get married. Yeah. There is nothing else we could possibly do. I run She's pregnant out to here. <laughs> I've run through all the scenarios in my head. Uh, I, I mean, monetarily speaking, you know, tax time is coming up, so that, that means something. Uh, do you realize that if we have that baby on December 30th, we get the entire year, the entire year of tax credits for that baby? Oh my god. It's like, t it's like the government thinks we had it all year. I've been holding this thing in for like 10 months trying to figure out something other than having to marry you. You're boring. I'm sorry. You know a good time? Thank you for calling the suicide hotline. Thanks for picking up your phone. Oh, of course. Wait a second. Gregory? Yeah? I told you I had to work. I can't go. I love you! <laughs> okay. Sweetie, I, some of us have jobs. It's a very important job. Now, unless you're really going to kill yourself because I broke our date, I really need to get back to work. We were supposed to get married! On that date! On that date! That was my plan! Ring, 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 ring. Hold, Gregory, don't kill yourself. Are you serious? Hold on two seconds, okay? Oh, all right. All right, thank you. Thank you for calling the suicide hotline. Yeah. Were you talking about launching my body on a rocket? 
so that I could be amongst them, like the funerals they have on Star Trek. Oh, <laughs> well, we haven't started making plans yet, but we can, uh, we can oh, start talking about. Shoot my body into space, yeah. please. That's what you want. That's what you want with your body. Of course it is. No grandson of mine is being shot up into space. <laughs> is it because I'm a star <laughs> That's exactly it, son. I'm not gonna have your star faggotty. <laughs> Marn the great expanse of God. Because that's the sky. God is the sky. But I want my remains to be with the stars. And I want my, my ashes twinkling in the moonlight. You know what's going to happen? Well, that going to happen? Well, God is going to collect all them ashes. And he's going to put them right back down into earth where they belong. This message has been brought to you by Jesus Christ, the Church of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> Eat. 
I don't need... I think we're making it pretty clear to you what you what we don't eat. You just listen to us and listen what we don't eat. I don't need anything that has hands. Anything that once had hands. Anything that wants hands. Anything that's thought about the negative connotations of having hands. <laughs> I don't need uh, people. Because they've had hands, or have thought about having hands. Yeah, that's right. Because they've had hands. And they have eyeballs, and gums, and teeth, and tongues, and they look at stuff. Hey, Richard, you don't have to give them a sample. We're not going to fire you from Martin's if they don't take your sample. <laughs> just seems like the stakes are really high here, and I just wanted you to relax. I'm good at my job! I'm good at my job! I'm not going to take your steak skewer, pig! <laughs> I, 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 now. Stop looking at stuff. I want to eat some of this eventually. Uh, what do you mean? Nothing that's in a grocery store. What do you mean? Nothing that comes from a farmer's market. <laughs> Nothing that a farmer's hands. Why can't you just tell me? Nothing a farmer would ever think about. What do you eat? You're just be specific. Nothing that animals eat. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to know. It's okay. You won't take this. What will you eat? You're wrong. Kill cows. That was a butcher joke. I'm sorry. I don't have much time to read, and when I do, I read joke books. <laughs> I'm grateful for you for keeping up the morale around here. Your jokes, your laughing. Times are rough. The economy's down. People need to eat more meat. <laughs> but here we are, and people don't come and eat meat. They eat salads and ramen and sashimi. And what if we wrap meat? In salad. <laughs> Just wrap a lettuce around a big ham hock and sell it as a vegan meal. We could try that. Um I I wrote this back because well mostly it's a thinly veiled piece of raw meat. <laughs> it has lettuce around it. It's mostly lettuce. It's raw because I heard that you Richmonders like to eat raw stuff. That's a completely different food movement. It's like sushi. Kind of sushi. It's like, it's like pig sushi. I wash that ham off. It's clean. You seem to be missing the problem. Uh, and that's the fact. But this is meat. That's probably the best section of the it's meat, meat, actually. It's meat. No, I know. It's, meat. it's high in protein. Meat. It's got a lot of meat. acids. Hey, guys, I asked for uh, PBR when I came in here from earlier. Yeah, PBR wrapped in lettuce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you replaced all the PBR with raw meat. Innards, yeah. Innards. Yeah, it's, it's just liquid, it's blood and stuff. Yeah. In the can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the good stuff for you. Yeah. I mean, okay. I had a PBR once, didn't get me nothing. So, then I drank some ham blood and I felt good. <laughs> I asked you guys to write Happy Birthday Timmy on this cake, and you put a pig's head. <laughs> <laughs> a pig's head wrapped in lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Change it from a dog to a goat, you're right. <laughs> I love the service you've been giving me. I just simply asked for change. And you give me a dozen beheaded pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Stamped 
<laughs> of dead presidents on them. <laughs> I got a goat's head. We got heads. We got heads. <laughs> I got a hand that used to belong to a horse. <laughs> so it's a hoof or a hand that you put on to the horseman to get off of it. <laughs> There's only one way this could end. Marriage. <laughs> Is that not what you're gonna say? Oh, easy tiger, shit, I always do that. Oh, I was I was gonna say that uh, it turns out to be a dream. So That is so romantic. Sorry, I was I was just talking about the movie. Oh shit! E uh, oh, I always oh, do sorry. this. I was like, uh, no, no, sorry. Of course, okay. you're, you're talking about the movie. I just it's been a long time since I've had a second date. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't too forward by inviting you over to my place. No, no, I wasn't too forward by uh, looking for my keys in your pocket. <laughs> no, no, that was okay. I mean, no, who Kyle. knows what gets in there? I don't know. No, I know. I mean, who knows what gets in here? What? Shit. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted. I didn't invite you over here because I'm trying to have sex with you. I mean, didn't? I would, I would like to at some point in time, but that's you not. You could like... do it tonight. <laughs> oh. Uh... I mean, I'm not like a whore or anything, but I just, I want you to like me. Inception reference, Inception. <laughs> <laughs>